Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. Well, oh, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack, and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised, and you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. There's the whistle, and here we go. Tries to get it forward quickly. Knocked down by a lack of accuracy. Silva hoists it forward. Forward it goes. He can get that clear. And it's been taken straight back. And it's played forward. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Plays it out to the wing. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. Goes to the cross. Knocks it away. And play for a throw. He hits it! Goal! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Approaching half-time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? Silva, forward it goes.
Played out to the right. Gorgeous control there. Out to the right. Puts it into the middle. And through to the goalkeeper. And it's half-time here. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Well, I'm sure the managers talked the talk, and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. That's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. And that has been cleared. Kennedy drives it towards the front. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Hoists it forward. Plays it out to the flank. Has gone out. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the stats are pretty telling here. It's hard to argue with the scoreline when you carry so little threat. And that's sprayed out wide. Tries to get it forward quickly. Coach through there. He's got options out wide. Gets the better of his man. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Deep cross, and that's been well dealt with. A really good feat. Lofted into the middle. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Silver. Out to the left it goes. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? There are a few waiting for it. Now short shoots. There goes the final whistle. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? It's just a bad day at the office, Peter. They look below par in all areas, and it has to be cause for genuine worry. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.